a search for answers, front and center of the Ware home. It yeah, really has never left our minds from day one. We're always pretty conscious of it just about any day. It's been seven years since Logan Schindelman disappeared. His great uncle Mike Ware describes him as friendly, outgoing, and always willing to lend a hand. To be gone, it's a loss for everybody, not just his family. According to the Thurston County Sheriff's Office, Logan's grandmother reported him missing. He was last seen May 19th, 2016. The next day, deputies say a trooper found Logan's black convertible abandoned near south of Tumwater on southbound I-5. It was sort of a strange circumstance. Witnesses saw the car pull over. Uh, a, a male subject jumped out of the car. The car kept going and ended up in a median. The description of the man who jumped out doesn't match Logan's appearance. His wallet, money, everything, was, identification, everything was left in the car. Logan's family says they have no reason to believe he would run away, but they do believe someone knows what happened. Some people who have refused to talk to law enforcement very adamantly, which is unfortunate because they may have information without realizing it. Deputies say there's still no indication of where he is or a suspect in his disappearance. I do think that there's a good possibility there will be information with the new sheriff and the new detective that's working on case now. But with the new spotlight on the case, with Dateline's Missing in America podcast featuring Logan, it brings promise. So always hoping that you know, for some reason that he would be able to come back. Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.